relationships. <laughs> the heart's relationship. <laughs> well, we can't get around the fact that we were talking about relationships and the heart. We can't get around the fact that there are many different ways to interpret these words. And, um, yeah, well, okay. So what is a relationship? Are we talking about boyfriend and girlfriend? Are we talking about you to your mama, you to your papa, you to your friends? These are all relationships, right? Then what is your heart? Is it the thing that's beating in your chest? That's an organ, you know? It's, it's material. What is that, your heart? What is it? Is it like, are we talking about feelings? Like, how do I feel? Is that my heart? What am I thinking? Is that my mind or is that my heart? What is it? What is it? I'd like to introduce another word. Consciousness. What is that? Consciousness. I'm not talking about I'm conscious, you know, I'm black and I'm proud. Well, I mean, like, no, nah. I mean, consciousness, like, to be conscious. There are people laying in a hospital bed who are unconscious. Now we're talking about consciousness. Their heart is beating. Their mind is giving activity, but there's nothing happening. There's no consciousness there. Or we don't know how to interpret it. We say, oh, that is a vegetable. Right, so, so what are we saying? Maybe, okay, so there's young people watching this thing. Hmm. Then we need to talk about hormones. What's the difference between your hormones and your heart? You know, and hopefully those of you who are watching this, have some idea about what your hormones are. Um, because you're in a time in your life where your hormones are in very heavy activity. And if we, okay, so we're talking about knowing something about yourself. Figure out what hormones are jumping off in you right now. What's being released right now? What kind of hormones? What do those hormones do? It's better to find out now than later, you know, because you're always going to be dealing with this. You're a, 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 a biomechanical machine. We talked about health. We talked about all of this stuff. Everything ties in together. We have to know what's going on inside of you. It helps you understand what's going on. If you're a young woman, then you already know there are things that happen to you on a cyclical basis, you know. And when those things are happening, it's good to understand what is going on. It helps you understand how you are feeling and why you may be feeling this way or that. And it's the same for men. It's no difference. And if you're a young man, you don't know this, find out. You also have a cycle too. You have cycles that relate to your body. You have cycles that relate to the moon, to the stars. Believe it or not, the planet is made from 75% water. Every day, the moon the closest heavenly body to our planet affects how the water moves. High tide and low tide. You can see it. Just walk to the beach. You can see it. It's clear. We are also 75% water. So we are also affected by the moon. It's good to know these kind of things. What happens when there's a full moon? Why sometimes you see more kids fighting in your school on one day than another? Look upstairs, see if the moon is full. You'll be surprised. Also see what kind of food they just fed them. You'll be surprised. What kind of hormones are in those foods? We're talking about hormones? Again, there's our word. So now we're talking about feelings, relationships, emotions, you know. Um, well, that's a very interesting road, you know, and what you feel about people has to do with what you are feeling, or does it? Does it have to do with what your parents do? Maybe you like to listen to one particular singer or one particular rapper. I know in this age, when I was young, a lot of kids, they would like to listen to, I don't know, some particular rapper or singer. And what would happen is that people would walk around all day and imagine that they are that person. Someone says something to you, hmm, you said that to me? Well, I'm 50 Cent in my mind. What would 50 Cent do right now? Slap the person, pow. Okay, but see, that's not you. 
that's you, you know, trying to be somebody else. When we talk about relationships, I don't know what kind of relationships you see. I mean, what kind of relationship are your parents having? Okay, who knows? Maybe it's something you like, maybe it's something you don't. But what you also have to find when you're finding yourself is a difference between you and everybody else that you see. So you can, you know, if you want to react to a young woman or a young man in a certain way because you saw someone else do it, well then of course, that really might not have anything to do with what you are really about. And you have to decide if that's something that you really want to do, if that's something you want to keep. And you should figure that out these days because if you start to do patterns now, you can find yourself 25 years old repeating the same pattern that you started when you were 15 years old. And you can think to yourself, oh, I do this because that's just me. Is it really? Or is that just something you've been doing for a long time? And you don't even know why? Hmm. I don't know. You know. I don't know any of you kids planning to get married anytime soon. So when it comes to relationship, I mean, you know, have fun, keep it light at the end of the day. Have fun and keep it light. Just get to know people. Get to know people and get to know yourself. And remember, a lot of what you're dealing with these days are feelings. And feelings come and go. So when it comes, enjoy it. When it leaves, wave it bye-bye and keep it moving. You know, it's like a train stop, you know. You're on your way somewhere. Just keep it moving, man. And eventually, you know... You understand yourself a little bit better. You understand who you are dealing with a little bit better. But right now, you're probably dealing with people who don't even know who they are. And you don't know who you, who you are your own self. So just enjoy, man. Just, you know, be cool. Don't get up and out of shape. It's just feelings. Let it come, let it go. Enjoy it, man. Good luck. <laughs>